Welcome back to Rich and Bella Crafts. I hope you're all well. So for today's video, I have come to tell you all about the latest um, collaboration. Yes, we're back at that point again. It is in fact almost the 1st of April and it's nearly time me to turn my calendar I stop getting myself confused. Um, but yeah, we're, we're nearly at that point now where we're ready to launch um, our next uh, collaboration. We are super excited about this collaboration. We had a good think, we tried to come up with some new ideas for you um, and we were really excited to bring you a project that is going to help you put together a botanical journal. So I've um, spoken to lots of different YouTubers, some we've worked with before, some we haven't, some will be um, new to our collaborations, not new to you. Um, but I think the ladies that will be joining us uh, will really bring um, that kind of um, expertise, I think, that that, uh, that you'll be looking for if you are um, looking for tips on how to put a botanical journal together. Um, so we've got quite a few things going along at the same time, as we usually do with uh, our collaborations because we don't do anything by half really do we so um if you keep an eye on instagram there'll be some things popping up on there in the next few days um and you'll be able to follow along with that as well uh, there'll be some examples tips things like that on there um but for the main event we are going to be uh running a, kind of um one a day video process again um on the weekends i will slot in um a video as well and I think at one point there might be two people on one day. So just make sure you check on the dates. Um, the uh, square will be advertised everywhere. We do obviously always do a square, don't we, with everybody's names and everything on. Um, and, you know, that'll be out there. We'll be sharing it on Instagram. And we will try to get a post up every day uh, to remind you all who's on that day and whose channel to go and watch. Okay, so our hashtag is HowToBotanical. And we are working with um, this lovely kit. Well, I say this lovely kit, it's easy for me to say this lovely kit, I designed it. But yeah, no, we, we, we'll be working for the most part. Um, I will certainly rather be working um, with this kit during this project. So if you watched our um, recent video where I kind of, you know, gave you a little hint and at what was coming, um, you'll have heard me mention that I was looking for a name for the kit. Um, we did in fact name the kit following on from that video so thank you very much for choosing our name uh, and the kit is now called Botanical Dreams and I love the name I think it's I think it's amazing so while I'm chatting away to you now today I am just going to um, very quickly put together some little clusters from all of the elements and things that I've got on my desk um, and I want to just have some stuff there ready to add in when I'm um, Put my journal together. So before I tell you who will be joining us, I'm just going to give you a little reminder for you of what I'm going to be doing alongside the collaboration. So um, I don't know how many of you've been, how long you've been following uh, our channel for, but those of you that have been with us a little while now will remember that last summer we did an event called. Oh my goodness, my mind's gone blank. It's all about Alice. It's all about Alice. That's what it was called. It's all about Alice. Um, and as, as the name suggests, the whole thing was all about Alice in Wonderland. Um, I was doing a design team project at the time for Line Dot Arrow and was using the uh, Alice in Wonderland kit. And um, we had lots of fun and we made it an interactive um, journal uh, series and it was great and um, you the viewers got involved you voted at the end of each video in the comments on how you wanted me to progress and how you wanted me to design the journal um, and then we did a giveaway and I think it was in fact I hope I got this right now I think it was actually Phyllis who won um, the journal which was lovely because uh, Phyllis is still with us now she's still super active in our Facebook group um, and you know she's grown uh, so much in confidence that her work is amazing. So, you know, she brings so much now to um, our community. So it's lovely. It's, it's great to, to see these events, you know, go on. And, um, you know, we, we make contacts and we and links throughout that. And it's, it's just lovely to keep that going. So we're going to do it slightly differently this time. We won't be doing a giveaway as such. Um, 
I think I explained in, in a little bit of detail in, in um, the video that I did uh, the week before last, or last week, whenever it was. My goodness, I don't date these half the time these days. <laughs> um, and as I mentioned in that, I will be doing... Um, kind of a raffle event now for the uh for the journal so if you want a chance to win the journal um you just need to contribute to the raffle the raffle is for charity it's actually for the charity that i work for um and we are raising funds to um provide services to um the search users in our community that have um sight loss or um limited vision um and the charity actually provides support services for them. So we provide services such as um, counselling for those that have uh, recently been, um, you know, given the news that their condition is not going to improve. We also provide um, rehabilitation services to help people continue to live independent lives. Um, we also provide um, well-being services as well. We run clubs, um, all sorts of things. Um, and we're just now starting to try and get things like, you know, um, supported day trips and things like that up and running um, and just get some events back up together. Because obviously everything had to go on hold for so long. Um, over the last two years so that's that's kind of what that's all about so literally I'm going to just set up um, a Facebook fundraiser they're great the Facebook fundraisers because I don't have to do anything I don't have to collect any money it, literally you just donate on the Facebook thing and the charity receives the whole donation and it goes straight into their bank account which is amazing and it's great when you're fundraising because obviously um, you know if you are fundraising you're doing it for another organization you're not linked to them I'm going to worry about the hassle and go around collecting Collecting money. Oh my gosh! Remember years ago when we were in school and we'd be given sponsor forms, and everybody would put their name down. They promised to sponsor you. You had to go and collect the money afterwards. Then and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I, I haven't got it now." Or and you'd be like, "Oh no!" And I remember many a times doing like a. I, it was never a sponsored silence. It wouldn't have been a sponsored silence in school that I would have done because I just, as you know, I'm never silent. Um, never without something to say. But I can remember doing several sponsors things as a kiddie in school, and then having to like, put the money in because somebody hadn't, you know, they said they'd give it to you or whatever, and you'd put it on the sheet because if it was on the sheet, it had to go in and then you'd have to go and empty your money box or something. So the great thing with uh, Facebook um, fundraising is you don't have that hassle because everything is done and it's all done direct to the charity. So basically to have a chance of um, winning the journal that I'm going to make, uh, you just need to make a donation on the page. So I will set that up. I will put the link in the description box and that'll just be a way you go. You'll have a month to go over and engage and contribute with that. I would ask while you're over there having a look at fundraiser, perhaps you have a little look at the social media, the page, have a look at the services they provide, you know, perhaps any knowledge or anything that you might be able to get from that. Um, and I will bring you a few um, tips and things over the month about, you know, taking care of your own eyesight as well, because it is actually women's health. Uh, hang on a second, I know I'm going to quote this wrong now. What did I just do with the sheet? I had it in front of me. I was like, Rich, I'll keep the sheet there. You know, you're going to need to read it out. Here we go. Right, let me quote this properly. It is Women's Eye Health and Safety Month, April. So that's what we're going to be um looking at so that's kind of going to be my contribution during that time you're all going to tell me what you want from the journal you're going to tell me at the end of each video what i need to do next and what style you want it done in um and you know help me find a way forward so that at the end of it it's something that you all like very much um so for today's question i'm going to be asking you to tell me or to vote i should say down below in the comment section if you can leave me a comment and tell me um what style uh, cover you would like on the journal so obviously i'm using this kit so you know that kind of gives you a bit of guidance <laughs> it's botanical themed <laughs> in case you wouldn't guess that from the title um but yeah what what kind of um cover would you like me to use um you know, I'm talking, are we going with a soft cover? Are we going with a hard cover? Are we going with a fabric cover? Are we going with, I don't know, mixed media? What, whatever, you you tell me. And um, and I will go and do that. And I'll, you know, we'll tot up all of the um, the comments and then I'll um, I'll go and do 
as you bid. So that'll, that'll be quite exciting. It'll be fun. I quite like being directed by you guys. It's nice to be working on projects that I know you are interested in, things that you want to see. Um, if there are any particular um, things that you want me to add in, don't be afraid to, you know, mention those in the comments and, you know, give me a bit of notice and I can work that in as well. So what you all really want to know is um, who's taking part in the collaboration? Well, I did a few clues. I do apologise. That didn't quite go as I'd hoped um, this last week or two. Um, yeah, just I have no excuse. I really don't. I'm not even going to start to try and think of one. I have no excuse. It was just really, really busy. Um, the weekend was just really, really busy. I have literally had hardly any time to come on social media. Um, I don't really want to apologise for that because I was spending time doing things with kids and other stuff and the week just didn't go as I expected. So I am sorry about that. Um, I did get a post up today. Um, I did leave loads of clues in that. So if you did guess and you did uh, send your guess into me by email I will get back to you in the next day or two and send you over a copy of the bonus kit um, and if you didn't don't worry because I'm going to let you know now who's coming along so I when I'm going to do a collaboration you may even see me pop these posts up I, I tend to put a post um, onto uh, mostly social you know all the social media is kind of like trying one catch everybody thing to a net so you get hooked um and yeah just shout you know does anybody want to join in um i also then email um a few of the uh youtube ladies um and you know just mention to them if they're not super super busy would any of them like to join in um and you know m most often than not the response is always a positive one uh if it's not a case of you know they've got loads on and they're already kind of backed up but um we we have two two new ladies joining us this time um who haven't worked with us before in a collaboration and i did approach them for the last collaboration but they are super super busy so they were unable to do that one because it was all really short notice in february but what they did say was bear us in mind for the next one so on the back of that, I then got super organised and I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead. Let's put your names down the next one. And I already knew what I wanted to do. So I got when I got it all ready, hence how I then managed to have the kit ready and everything else. So you have to thank for that, the fact that all this was gotten out sooner. Um, actually, it's Louise, Louise Heinzel. She she was amazing. She um, she, she was really keen to um, to get on board. She wanted to come and you know um, contribute to the project for you guys and uh, to, you know take part with everybody. She, she does amazing collaborations. Um, she, you, you are no stranger, I'm sure, to uh, Louise Heinzel's channel. Um, and along with Louise, we have also got then Barbara from Forty Nine Dragonflies. So these two amazing ladies have um, come across to join our team this time. Um, we've mixed a few things up. We've had a few from the last one, a few from the Christmas one, a bit of a mishmash. I think we might have one or two other new ones in there as well. So I'm not going to keep you waiting any further. I'm going to let you have a little look at my square. So there we go. Do you want me to just bring you guys down a little bit? Just so you can see exactly who I have on my list. Wow, look at that. It's like the Hollywood stars, isn't it? Or is it Broadway? Is that what it's called? Where all the stars are with all their names on? That's what this is like. I should have stars behind you, really, shouldn't I? Look at all these amazing people. Right, in case you can't see this, I'm going to read them out to you. So, we have got Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. We welcome back Tracy Fox. We've got Natalie from Lime Dot Arrow. Then we've got Bella from Rich and Bella Crafts. Helen from Hope Filled Journals. Daniela has L Lilithy the Paper Witch channel. Then we've got Rose from Journals in Time, Virginie, Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda, Shiva from Berry Mix Journals. Now Shiva has just joined our design team last month, so she's also new to our team as well. So welcome to you, Shiva. We've got Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. We've got Louise Heinzel from Junk Journal Art, Justine from House of Mahalo, and we've got Lynn from Sparkles Creations. <gasps> I'm going to take a big, big deep breath and start the second list. Then we've also got Nelda from Nelda's Crafts and Inspirations, Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts, Angela Kerr, we've got Kelly from Mud Hut 2880, we've got Venus from Heart's Desire, we've got Rebecca from Crafty Junk Journals, we've got Shona from Fraps and Scraps, we've got Rachel from Roxy Creations, and we've got Rose Vining from Heart Finds. We have Lydia from Raindrop Leela, 
Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. I love saying that. <laughs> Diane from The Messy Palette. Miranda from Sunshine and Grace. We've got Marcy Coat Designs. Mehataj from Boho Needs. Leilani from Paper Grove Studio. And Cara Brandon from Cara Brandon Creations. Welcome to you all. Thank you so much, ladies, for um, agreeing to come and take part um, and for your constant and never-ending enthusiasm because uh, it's due to these girls and their energy that keeps me going to be able to do this because I would not be able to do this on my own. Um, so a huge thank you to all of them. Um, I know you guys are going to be just super, super excited. Um, we are so fortunate. We've got Barbara kicking things off for us now tomorrow on the 1st of April. Um, I've kept the dates to the days so we won't get confused this time um, and we will put the number up with the hashtag then on the uh, title so you'll be able to find these videos easily. Um, I will also have a, um, a playlist, that's what I'm looking for, on our channel again which I will put on, on the front page of our YouTube channel so it'll be the first list that you're able to find. Um, and as and when the girls upload the videos, I will then go over and add that to the um, playlist. So if you want to check in daily with the playlist, um, you should not miss anything then. So I will link the playlist down below in this video for you. Um, I will also include in the description box below um, links to all these ladies' channels. Um, and I just ask that you please go and support them all subscribe to their channels, you know, watch some of their videos. They are amazingly talented um, creators and it is just an absolute honour uh, for Bella and myself to uh, have the opportunity to work with them on these projects because uh, yes, these collaborations are a lot of work, but we absolutely love every minute of it. We love the buzz. We love hearing your enthusiasm. We love your feedback. So please, guys, keep your comments coming. Um, support the girls. Support them with their videos um, when they post, you know. Um, and yeah, just, just lots of positive feedback. So so this is the collaboration. So make sure you're following now. Hashtag how to botanical. If you do craft along or you go and recreate anything that these wonderful uh, artists bring you, please feel free to post pictures of it on social media and tag the hashtag HowToBotanical um, in your post and we will every day or two go on and just run a search on the hashtag and pick up what's, uh, what's being posted. And uh, you never know if I remember, <laughs> which isn't always, uh, but if I remember, I will try to uh, include some in my weekly roundup video and uh, you, you may find you see your art flying past um, on the screen with your name on there so uh, yeah don't forget get that hashtag in because we do like to get everybody involved and we do like to give you all a shout out um, on that note I just want to say hi to Tina she left a comment for me on my last video um, and you sounded really concerned that I hadn't been around for a week thank you for your concern it is lovely to be missed and I really appreciated your comment so um, I did spot that this morning as I was uh, sat in work it, came up on my phone so I, I did have a little smile. It was a bit of a tough day today so it that uh, it brightened up my day so it's nice to know that people are noticed when we're not around. So thank you for that Tina, it was uh, really kind of you. Um, guys I don't think I have anything more to add to this, I don't want to snow you under with information. Um, all I'm going to say is go and raid your drawers, find all your botanical stuff, find your greens, find your browns, find your beiges, find your flower books, get your kits printed ready because I think this collaboration is going to be a real roller coaster ride. There is so much coming your way and I'm super super excited. Don't forget to leave a comment below, tell me what kind of cover I need to start putting together for this journal for you um, and don't forget to check all the links then in the description box. Thank you so much for joining us today and I really really hope you enjoy this collaboration. Be back with you all really soon. Take care now. Bye.